that. I hope that, that song is 30 minutes long. <laughs> uh, but as you can hear, it, it takes a while to build up to the to the point where it really where it really starts. So it, it relate this vein of black metal relates much more to to the shoegaze kind of uh, rock metal and way of, of using guitars and ambience and you have the yeah uh, the C sounds and stuff like that. Another example, just I'm not going to play uh, an example, but just show or, and say a few words on about mobile. Uh, I think it's translated uh, phosphorescence by luminescence. I'm not sure um, the effect on the water when it turns blue. Uh, and they they especially uh, play with the idea of of that. They, they, when I interview them, they they don't want me to to add their names anywhere. We are Muri, we are Unity. So, so they sort of um, talk about it in this way. And, and when they play their music, they are Muri, they are this uh, nature phenomenon. And they want the rest of the audience to be, to dissolve along with them in, in their, their big sound. Their, their sound is, is, is very close to something, as we just heard. Um, and they had a very curious um, release show earlier this year at the uh, the Blue Planet, the um, Danish uh, aquarium in Copenhagen, next to the airport, in front of the of the big um, of the big um, aquarium there. Um, they only had to cut the the stroboscope lights and then turn away the the ultraviolet the bulbs from from <laughs> from not heating up the fish. Uh, the glass is that thick, so so uh, the, the inhabitants of the basin was not really disturbed by the sound. Uh, <laughs> um, so this leads me to um, I, I, I'm, I'm closing very soon now, um, and I want to to say. A few words about uh, what it, is it that might perhaps um, uh, um, make a connection between uh, these two kinds of, of metal music. Um, and the thing is that Solborg, the band that I mentioned, they issued uh, uh, an album called Wehmut, that's the German Wehmut or, or Sadness. Um, and the guy from the Corps on uh, I talked with uh, the leading person, person there, Jesper Bakkerhvid. Uh, he said this about uh, Vimud, uh, after he had claimed not to know what Solbold was doing, that the other band. Vimud is about finding comfort in longing and loss and grief. Outsiders told about Scandinavian melancholy, but that's inadequate. I find pleasure even in the dark months of the year. This is why we put on candles on the Christmas tree and shed. It's about finding comfort in darkness, something Scandinavian people excellence in doing. We have so much darkness around. Vimu is the most Nietzschean life-affirming concept I can possibly think of. We share this with, with all other black metal bands. So, so there was at least one connection be between uh, uh, what uh, Will Straw has called effective alliances, and, and many have followed this uh, idea. Uh, Georgina Bourne and uh, um, Rosemary Overell in, in her uh, study of uh, the brutal belonging in the, the Japanese and Australian grindcore scenes. Um, so I, I, that depends the title, uh, Heart of Sadness. Uh, I think that's, that V will somehow um, uh, is is important when we just discuss uh, what a scene is, uh, because it's it, it might be located exactly there in, in, in the effective alliances that, that binds people uh, uh, somehow. Uh, I don't know if it binds them together, but it, at least it's it, they they do share. Uh, uh, they're all sad. I mean, in, in Denmark, we're not the happiest country. We're all <laughs> depressed. You know. One of the most happy. So much black metal music. <laughs> we need to cope with <laughs> so, so, but actually, that's a good thing. We, we do good. Um, there's a creation in this uh, violence, as a uh, Mark, uh, a Danish researcher, has uh, has described. And that's something I'm gonna go more into detail in, in the um, article that I'm. That, yeah.
that's coming. Um, yeah, so uh, just in, in ending to say that to, in order to cope with this fragmentation uh, in, within the scene, uh, I need to, to put, I uh, want to uh, add a few, two, two comments that the scene seems to be emerging as a product of my fieldwork. Because I, I seem to be one of the few persons that go to, to all black and little shows. Nobody else is, they, they, they tend to go to, to what they used, used to go to. So, um, so that's a method, methodological, uh, some kind of, of uh, issue to address, right? Um, and then I find it helpful to lose uh, Manuel de Landa's uh, theory of assemblage or assemblage, um, uh, which highlights uh, these uh, relations of exteriority, uh, which are loosely connected between a variety of entities and bodies and communities and persons and institutions and imaginaries uh, or whatever uh, that might um, affect each other and change and. You know, so I hope it, make, I hope it makes sense uh, in some weird way, <laughs> but at, at least this is a work in progress. So, and I promised uh, to have a chapter ready the first of July. So, <laughs> 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 <laughs>